Hi guys, today I want to show you how we can turn this 12 volt power supply into an adjustable 13.4 and up to 15 volt power supply because I want to use it for my LiPo charger. I also 3D printed a little nice box where I can put the power supply in, the holes for the vents. Yeah, at first we need to open it up. So there we go. This is a side we have to work on. This little potentiometer is for the voltage, yeah? Oh, it's very hard to see on camera. This little resistor, we can just take it out and shortcut the connection. Then we would have 12.8 or 13 volts. But easier is to put a resistor from this connection here to pin 13. If you use a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, we will get 13.9 to 15 volts by adjusting this one here. If we use a 5.6 kilo ohm resistor, we can arrange the voltage from 13.4 to 14 volts. We also need to put a resistor from pin 33 to 36. What well, is rated with 300 to 700 ohms between those pins to make the power supply turn on, otherwise, it will just not turn on. <coughs> to make the power supply fit into my 3D printed box, I also will remove this handle here and this guy. You don't need that, I just want to put it in the box and that's why I have to remove these. I also will put a switch in between these two connections with the resistor in line. I just like to have a switch so I can turn the power supply on and off and don't need to plug it in the wall or take the plug out of the wall every time. Need these cables so long, that's why I shorten them.
Sorry for the noise, I'm using a gas powered one. So. This is how it should look. Yeah. It's not connected. You can see it, yeah? So now. Be very careful if you plug it in while it's opened. Make sure you don't touch anything. So now we should turn it on by switch. is coming up that means everything is correct and if I turn the switch off the light goes off unfortunately I only have these 320 ohms resistors here and because it's corona time I just will use them I will use eight in a row. It will do the job, but I would recommend if you got a 4.7 or 4.6 kilo ohm resistor, depends on what voltage you want to get. Uh, you just need one of them, and not eight 620 ohms. So I hope you guys can see. Ah, that won't work. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm getting around 4.8 kilo ohms with eight of these. It will do the job. So I will put some heat shrink over there. So, everything looks good. Yeah, just using one of them would be way easier. But, it will do its job. So, now we're ready to adjust it. This little guy here is for the voltage. And this one is for the voltage protection. Why we adjust it, it 
could happen that the power supply will shut off. Then you'll need to turn this one to the right, turn it off, and turn it on again, and then you can continue with adjusting the voltage, which I show you now. So, turning it on by this little switch. So right now we're getting around 13.6 volt out of it. And now we can adjust it up to 14.96 volts. That's awesome. I will leave it around 14.5, oh, a little bit more, ah, too much. Ah, there we go, that's enough. And now we can put everything back together. So now I got some more soldering done. I connected the top side with the bottom side so it could handle the amps and put the final connector on that I want to use. And now I can put it in the 3D printed box. So that's the final product. <coughs> yeah, guys, I hope you liked the video. Would be happy if you subscribed and leave me a like. See you next time.